So I'm Elsa, I'm a neuroscientist. I'm an associate professor at the University of Plymouth. I'm also the head of the non-invasive brain stimulation department at BRIC, the Brain Research Imaging Centre, which is the largest of its kind in the southwest of the UK. It's a very multimodal place, great for doing cognitive neuroscience research. And I'm also a UKRI Future Leader Fellow, which means that I'm actually 100% dedicated to research. And my research um, over the years has been more and more towards uh, causally manipulating brain circuits that have to do with addiction, uh, decision-making and learning. You know, it's, a, it's, it's all a very uh, dynamic journey. I don't think I would have ever imagined being here even 10 years ago. Um, you know, I started as an engineer, lost my job in a financial crisis, decided to completely change career. Um, did a PhD in computational neuroscience, nothing to do with actually non-invasive brain stimulation. It was just understanding the brain. And then I got into that passion of trying to better understand neural circuits. And when I was in Oxford, I had the chance to just work with uh, some absolutely amazing people. And I think they have inspired me. They have inspired me to do the work that I do. Um, they have inspired me to just um, go a little bit deeper in all the things that we were finding. So I've just pursued the things that I was finding really fascinating, but also working with people that I just like to work with. Um, and, you know, over the last few years, we've been, um, I think we've just discovered that actually transcranial ultrasound stimulation is such a promising uh, technology. There's so much, I mean, it almost feels like it could be a revolution and I think we're all still there to wait if it could be. We're starting with all the challenges that it um, it comes with, like understanding the skull, understanding the, the different things across participants and people. But I think once we, we make all this good work, this all good foundation, and we start to see things that are you know, replicable across studies and, and really where you can see evidence that there is something happening that just brings a lot of hope, uh, even of for future study, for mental health, uh, for all the trans translational work uh, that, you know, this, this thing in, is promising. It's just an absolutely incredible field to be in at the moment. Um, yeah. This is an award for, um, for academic research um, and obviously academic work and academic careers can be um, non-linear. There are ups and downs, there is uh, sometimes a little bit of doubts of whether you can be successful because you kind of feel like it depends on your research. But I would say that as long as you're uh, really trying to, to do the best you can and work with people that are inspiring you, um, you're going to just have a lot of fun. And I think that's the most important uh, in life and in work is that you work with people that are inspiring you and you, and you just have fun. <laughs>